open heart surgery is dangerous. Almost half of patients who needed heart valve replacement were too old or too sick to have it, until a new procedure came to America three years ago. In that short time, it's been so successful that specialists say it could quickly become an alternative for most patients. We're only at the infancy. The devices and the procedure are going to look very different in 10 years. We'll be doing it in a, in a large majority of patients that need valve replacement. TAVR is short for transcatheter aortic valve replacement. It's a non-invasive technique that replaces the aortic valve, which pumps blood out of the heart. Once we've got catheters in the groin, we get a wire across the diseased aortic valve, and then we need, we need to insert this valve inside the patient's body. TAVR was first done in France 12 years ago. It's only available at a handful of hospitals in America today, but doctors like Sushil Kadali are confident continuing improvement of the technique will soon change that. You see, one of the keys to this procedure is imaging. Kadali has performed more than 1,200 TAVR procedures. This valve is squeezed down onto a catheter, so it's about the size, smaller than my pinky. And we position it using x-ray and ultrasound. And then we inflate a balloon, which expands the valve, that pushes the diseased valve out of the way, so it no longer functions. And this new valve takes over the function. They opened up this new valve with the help of a balloon type instrument. All in your heart? All within. And no pain for you? No pain. Just amazing. Mary Fuller has had both types of valve replacement. Six years ago, she underwent open heart surgery. They put in a horse valve. I had colleagues of mine outside the door pawing the earth and making strange horsey noises. When she found out this year that she needed another replacement, she was too sick for traditional surgery. I kind of said, well, you know, I was lucky enough to be kept alive this long. Maybe I'm pushing my luck. Taver meant she wasn't out of luck. She was out of the hospital in three days, back to work as a psychology professor. And is your quality of life post-Taver better? I can't say I'm bouncing around, but I'll tell you, I was running down the hallway from my classroom to my office the other day, and I literally, people had to run to keep up with me. Taver is done in an operating room in case complications arise, with various medical specialists present. So in any given procedure to replace an aortic valve, there will always be a surgeon, an interventional cardiologist, an imaging expert, all in the same room, sharing their combined skills to try to best take care of these very difficult patients. As TAVR continues to evolve, these very difficult patients have a much easier road to recovery ahead. Inez Novacic, CBS News.